Hey guys, Avro here. I hope you guys are doing great. So today I want to demonstrate a very simple yet quite useful web application. This was built using Python and Streamlit framework. I named it as Streamlit Weather Report Application. Here we see a, a place where we can enter our city name. So right now I'm staying in this city called Seget, which is in Hungary. Once we enter our city name, we get the current temperature of the city, which is around 30.6 degrees Celsius. We also get the field like temperature, which is around 30.4 degrees Celsius. The status of the sky is clear. And once we hit this section, we can see the last five days maximum temperature here. Below here is the map of Seget. So this entire web application was built using this API, which I obtained from this website called Open with a Map. Here we need to create our account. And once that is done, we can get access to our APIs. The APIs needs to be copied and pasted in a particular file called secrets.toml. And this file needs to be located inside the folder called .streamlit. I have elaborated this process in my previous video. If you have not watched it, please go there and watch it and let me know your views and your feedbacks. So let's come to today's topic. Here we need to concentrate in two main aspects. One of them is to get the current weather data. Another is one called API from where we obtain our historical data for the five previous days. Once we click API doc, we get the API calls. So all we, all we need to do is copy this and paste in our text editor. So I've already pasted the two URLs which I need. And along with it, we need to write a few more Python codes and they are, our web application is ready to deploy. So let me minimize myself. And then in that way, we can actually concentrate on the codes. So I'll again, drag my text editor here. So we need to import Streamlit. We also need to import request as we will make a number of HTTP call from date time import date time and time delta we also need pandas so we import pandas spd we need to create a framework of the last five days data so for that we are creating a data frame and that's why we need the pandas so these are the five five or the four modules which we mainly need out here and then we assign our api key So we fetch our API key from our secrets.tml file using the streamlit.secrets function. There I kept the API token under the variable API underscore key. So we are just fetching from that file. Once these are done, we need to create two functions. One of them is to get the current weather and another of them is to get the historical weather data. So for the function get weather, we need this few lines of codes. We first send a request to the URL and with the help of the city and the API key as the input factor. Once we get the result, it's in JSON format. We try to only get the particular variables which we need to populate in our web application. So we need the country, we need the temperature, how the temperature feels, the humidity, the icon to give some visualization the longitude and the latitude, which we again need for the next function. Also, we need for plotting the map and the description. All these variables we put inside the race variable. Again, we have the next function for which I'll copy and paste the code. So again, here we send our request and the JSON file which we get, we loop over it at every hour and we try to get the temperature at every hour and we make a array which has all the temperature. So now we write a few streamlit codes. So we start building up our web, web application. So we write streamlit.title. Next, we need two codes, which is not really mandatory, but just in order to look our application 
bit prettier, I'll just copy and paste this lines of codes. So here we try to create two columns. In one column we have we have the image of the open weather map logo and in the other I have some random image. That's all. And once we have this two, uh, these few lines, we can fire stream it in our terminal. So let's check how it looks now. So it will open a local host out here. So it's running. So we, we have in one column the open weather map logo. In other column, we have the one of my random image, which was taken in Netherlands. So next we have two more columns. In one column, we will put the input box where user can put its city choice. So city name, st.txt input. We write, please enter your city. And in the other column, we will throw its output. So I will copy a few lines. So if there is some city name, we try to call this function and we get its result. And then we populate our application with the required data which we want to our users to see. So we show them the current temperature, it feels like temperature. We also have the icon or the image which, which, which gives the bit of visualization. So with, this is one aspect. Let us check how it looks now. So we have this box where we can enter the city name. So let's enter Amsterdam. We press enter. We already start to get the current temperature of Amsterdam, which is around 24.3 degrees Celsius. How it feels like, and also the status of the sky, and also this particular logo or the image, which gives a nice visualization. Next, again, we come to our code. The next part is mainly about the historical data. So again, if there's a city name, we populate with this few lines of course. So if there's a city name, we create an expander, which is from streamlit.beta expander, it's a streamlit function. And when the user clicks this expander, we populate with this table with the data frame, which has the maximum temperature and the date. So I can obtain this maximum temperature by looping over this particular function of get historical data. And from there, when, when you obtain the every day's temperature, you find out the maximum temperature of that particular day. So like this, we loop over five times for the last five historical data, and we get this maximum temperature of the, for, for the last five days, and we populate in a, in a table. So let's save it, and let's get back to our web app. So now, when I click this expander, we see the last five days maximum temperature in Amsterdam. So last thing which is now here we need to add is the map. So we copy this function and we paste it here. So it's nothing but streamlit sg.map, the streamlit function. So we create a data frame with our latitude and the longitude. And that's all. And then we save it. Let's see. So we already have the map of Amsterdam here. So this was very useful and very shortly we could actually populate our uh, web application with a number of data inputs. And now if we look for another city, let's say we look for Paris, we search for it. We know the current temperature out there is around 19.6. It's overcast clouds. We have a nice icon there for the last few days. We have this temperature, maximum temperature, and also we see the map of Paris. So yeah, that's all. I mean, this, this application is very basic and it's very easy to develop also. But you know, if we are making a web application where one section we need to populate with the current 
weather, this will be very useful. So I hope you guys like it. I will actually leave the link of the uh, codes in the comment section or in the description box. You can always use it, you can modify it. It will be great if you guys leave your comments and feedbacks, what you think about it. I'll be really happy to read those comments and feedback. So that's all for today. I will sign off. Uh,